what's up guys so yesterday i decided to change the filter on my boiler so basically if you change the filter and you have in the trouble it turning on so the first time it will turn on and it will suddenly turn off okay so before you call anybody check it out so you have a bleeder right about here so when you change the filter or you change the other filter right here you have to bleed the machine so you have a blinking light right here so you will hold down that button for about 45 seconds it will give you a steady light and you will open up the bleeder once the bleeder start giving you a flow i mean a very nice flow not spitting not nothing like that once it give you a very nice flow you'll shut it off and that will be it your burner should come on so basically you hold this down and this is your bleeder it's better for a box wrench it's better to have a box wrench but i only have one of these at the moment so basically you will open it up Okay, once you open it up, hold it down 45 seconds. It will soon give you a nice steady light. Once that happens, you let go. It will cycle. You can see that it's bleeding. Like I don't have a okay, turns off. You can hear it bubbling. Press it, it will recycle again. There you go. Once you get that flow, shut it. And your furnace will turn on, as you can hear. Make sure it's locked. There you go. It is back on. So go through the process. Just make sure if it does, you don't have to re hard reset it no more. You just gotta do it once. Hold it down 45 seconds. Then after that, keep on doing it until you get a nice flow and your machine will turn on. And there you go. It will save you a lot of money.